really glad we got to do this, son. Give me the keys to the car now. Today I gave you everything, all of me. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. What do you think you're doing? Oh, oh. Mm, man, spill my coffee. Well, you see, sir, there's about 500 billion cups of coffee drank this year. And seeing as how coffee is the second most traded commodity, I'm sure you can find another cup, sir. Get off my property before I call the police. Okay. Go on. I'm going. I'm going. Hey, wait, 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 hey, wait. I, 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 I just want to talk to you. My name's Elliot Coleman. Hey, Miss Elliot. Norman Rogers. Nice to see you again and not being kicked. What brings you to this part of town? Well, I, I, I was just heading home and I wanted to apologize for kicking you this morning. Oh, there's no need to apologize. It won't be my first time or my last time being kicked before. Well, look, Norman, I, I want to help you out, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Elliot. But why would you want to help me? Well, well, Norman, it, it looks like you need help. And I, I, I can help you. I, if I didn't help you, it, it just wouldn't be right. God, I wish there were more people like you. I'm going to use this money very carefully. You know they don't print as much money nowadays. They make more Monopoly money than real money. Who on earth will want more Monopoly money than real money? I don't know. Goodbye, Norman. Oh, hey, Miss Ellie. You know it's scientifically proven that wearing a business outfit boosts self-confidence? Hey, you know the average person make over a thousand phone calls a year? I know you are already 4,000. You know you can hear a lion roar from five miles away? I swear I heard a lion roar this morning in the zoo. I heard it. Speaking of zoo animal, you know porcupine can float. Well, they got all them little sharp needles and things be sticking around you, man. My God, 
What's going on? <laughs> Goodness. Mm. Good morning, Norman. Good morning, Miss Ellie. Wait, I have a question for you. What is it? You know how Jesus fed the 5,000 people fish and bread? I can understand the bread, of course, with a little butter. But why did he serve chicken? Everybody loves chicken. I don't know. I can't really answer that. You read the Bible? Nah, I did what I had to do. I sold my Bible a long time ago for some food, man. Well, here, I, uh, I have something for you. Here, it's in a, have, got an extra five dollars. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Norman. You're the nicest guy I ever met, Mr. Elliot. Thank you a lot. Norman? Norman! Come on, Norman, enough already. I've got something I want to show you. Norman? Norman! Norman? Norman. I got something I want to show you.
Hi. Um, how much is the buggy? You want to buy the buggy? Yeah. What's up, my man? Where you going, buddy? Want to play cards with us? No, I can't. You sure? Here's, here's some water. I sure appreciate the water. It's hot out here, man. Really appreciate it, my man. But look, you can grab a seat. No, I'm sure. Thank you. Where you going? No, it's, no, it's okay. No, thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I've been better. Hi. My name's Elliot. Do you have some money for me? No. Uh, but I do have something for you. Can you read? Of course I can read. I'm not stupid. Well, why don't you read this verse for me? Uh, Philippians 2, 3, and 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude 